Uh, that's not a function worth calling six times, especially in a row. <laughs> but if you guys need the money that badly, like I'll just, you know, I'll Venmo you, right? You know, so so I, I say that because you have like these most, the most advanced models out there and they're doing silly things like calling list strings six times in a row because I gave it access to, to Radar 2, mostly because I couldn't get a binary ninja license in time. I'm not sponsored by Binja, but I keep singing their praises because I, I think that they're really well suited for this automation of RE uh, reverse engineering tasks as we move forward in any case. But I also found that like GPT OSS CB was pretty good. I even got okay results with some of the like 8 billion parameter models, which by 2025 standards is small. So yeah, it's really interesting to see that you can actually do it pretty well. And what a lot of things come down to is just like task design. You know, if you have a very generic prompt, right? If you've got like some system prompts that's like, you are an expert reverse engineer and an expert in vulnerability discovery, whatever, fine. But then your prompt for the actual thing that you give it is like, oh, here's a binary, find all the vulnerabilities. Like it's going to cry. It's not going to do it for real executables. Uh, and what I think is interesting is I ran a set of evals. We had, I think it was 60 different compiled binaries. And every combination of like model and agent that I tried were on the small binaries, right? These like toy problems that are like sub 1000 lines of code. It did great. And then I gave it JQ and it, it couldn't do anything. It was useless. So I think that's, that's really interesting. And, and that's really where we're seeing it go is people learning that they need to decompose the problem and have multiple agents that are doing these different things. Uh, and just having it do like one task at a time. So you kind of have to think about the workflow and, and delegate individual parts of the workflow. So right now you can use it for vuln triage. In the future, you might be able to use it for end-to-end -end vuln discovery. But there's uh, there are some hiccups there. Yeah, it's definitely something that I've seen with LLMs. Like when it gets too complex, it just like can't really go through it like it should. And it kind of does a pretty bad job. But if you can really narrow down its focus, It'll do a really good job, like high quality work with it, which is, it's interesting. I mean, it makes sense, you know, because like if you ask someone to, you know, build something like highly complex, they're going to start with one, one part of it, you know, and then they're going to move on to the next part. 